Recently, we've seen an uptick in criminal activity that was very concerning. A lot of human waste and trash that was posing a public health risk for not only the people living there. At some point, there was sexual violence against women, human trafficking, um, very concerning criminal activity. So we try to support these camps before we, we even decommission. It's nothing like that going on. It's no uh, women trafficking. And it's, come on, it, it's, it's the it's day, to, day to day things that's going on in life. You know, it's nothing like that. So whoever's saying that, that's a, that, that's, that's a whole bunch of malarkey. You know, uh, we're not up here fighting each other. We're not up here beating women up. We're not doing none of that. In the end, this homeless encampment will not exist in the very near future. Pittsburgh's Department of Community Health and Safety is overseeing the effort to remove the Grant Street encampment. They say roughly 12 people have been living here. Some have gone into shelters, others single dwelling housing, and a few will have their own permanent housing in the very near future. Everybody has a plan. Everybody has had an offer, um, and we're just trying to support the population the best we can. And I'm so proud of myself. You know, I'm about to have my place next month. You're going to get your own home. Yeah, I get my own place next month, man. Decommissioning of the Grant Street encampment started yesterday. Reporting from downtown, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.